Hello, my Gemini loved ones, and welcome back to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This is going to be your April 2020 Soulmate Journey reading. So I hope that you're all doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for alerts on the newest content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I'm sending love right back to you. So let's go ahead and get started here. Gemini, you, as I was um, meditating to figure out which one of the air signs I was going to do first, Gemini really wanted to be seen and heard. And as I'm getting into this pre-shuffle, I can't help but notice the Six of Wands energy, um, kind of Leo energy. It's fiery energy of recognition. There is something, Gemini, that you are waiting for someone else to recognize at this time. And again... Um, here we have three of pentacles, recognition and reward. Uh, three pentacles is also recognition and reward that precipitates in some type of collaboration, some type of partnership or relationship. But I can see already getting in the way of that are some negative thought patterns so we'll get into this and see, Gemini, if this is your energy that I'm empathically connecting with or the soulmate that you'll be dealing with, all right? Also, this is a general read, and because I am working with Gemini energy as well as cross watchers, please take the messages as they resonate. If they don't, leave them for somebody else. So... Again, wanting somebody to come into recognition of something. We're starting out with the overall energy of the magician on the bottom of the deck here. And this is all about coming into consciousness, coming into awareness about a situation. So what is Gemini's overall energy in the month of April 2020 on their soulmate journey? We had one come out already, and it's looking really good. I, I think I know what I'm on to here, Gemini. What else is Gemini's overall energy? All right. So we have, we have the energies for you. What are the overall energies of a soulmate that Gemini will be dealing with in the month of April 2020? And there we go. We have three for them. Again, at the bottom of the deck, here is the Ace of Wands fire energy. This is the beginning of something that you are very excited about that kindles this heart flame within you, Gemini. So beautiful energy. All right. Well, this packs a one-two punch right here, Gemini. We have both the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups coming out in your overall energy, spiritual partnership and memories of love. This Six of Pentacles energy, or excuse me, Six of Cups energy here is water energy. This is soulmate energy. Okay, this is the, the energy of a connection where um, you can be in your inner child energy and it is reciprocated um, by this other party. Also, this feels very much to you um, like a divinely guided connection. Um, definitely a soulmate. Some of you may be dealing with a twin flame. Take it as it resonates. But um, this is someone that you can just very much be yourself with. Someone that you feel very comfortable with. Six of Cups is all about comfort and uh, reminiscence, nostalgia. You feel like a child in an emotional sense. You feel the safety, the divine protection of childlike love here coming out in your energy. We also have coming out in your energy that Six of Wands is back. So this is definitely about wanting to move forward with this, wanting to move forward with this soulmate twin flame connection that you're experiencing um, in the month of April. And 
you know, we have two sixes here. Again, we have uh, the six of cups and the six of wands. Six from a numerological perspective is about balance and harmony in relationships. And so you having two sixes, and the two here, this is definitely very balanced, very harmonious flow of energy in um, this spiritual connection that you're feeling with this other person in the month of April, Gemini. So in the other person's energy, first out, they have the three of cups energy. Threes are about uh, divine support and co-creation, right? you, me, and the divine, or however you see it, that trinity, that trine. But the energy of a three is all about coming together and coming into alignment as well. The three of cups is coming into emotional alignment, right? It's right after this two of cups energy. If this two of cups is um, a recognition, a choice being made toward a spiritual partnership, Three is that initial movement for that partnership to come together with the third party being divine guidance. All right. Next out in this person's energy, we also have the Ace of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. This is about uh, getting closer by extending an offer, some type of tangible offer or arrangement to get this reunion going, to get this alignment in, in this connection going. But interestingly enough, this person is also coming in with the seven of wands energy. This is fire energy. Sevens in numerology are all about perseverance and strength. But what is coming out in this person's energy is that while they are being um, spiritually pulled, I'm hearing drawn toward extending an offer that is going to create alignment in a, in a uh, relationship, the establishment of a relationship, there is still something that is guarded in this person's energy that is preventing them from actually um, you know, reaching out and really extending this Ace of Pentacles offer. So let's go ahead and see what soul work will you be doing in the month of April, Gemini, and what soul work will this soulmate be working on in the month of April 2020? Soul work, soul lessons for Gemini and their soulmate. April of 2020. That feels good. So overall at the bottom of the deck, this is beautiful energy. As a shared energy, both you and this individual in the month of April, Gemini, are going to be working on some type of completion. And I'm getting that this is happening in separation because of the vibration of the number nine here. Nines are an individual leg of a journey, okay, that, that has to be done. We each have to individually cross the finish line, okay, in order for the cycles to be done. So here with the energy of number nine, both you and this other person are completing some type of of cycle. Um, for some of you, this involves learning um, with this crown chakra of violet and white energy here. Um, it, it could be spiritual learning for some of you, for some of you higher education, but there was something that needed to be learned by both you and the soulmate that you'll be dealing with in the month of April that involves some type of completion associated with the crown chakra. So what work is Gemini doing in the month of April? What work is Gemini doing on a soul level in the month of April? All right. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. So 
I love this energy coming out for you. Let's see what soul work will Gemini's soulmate be working on in the month of April. In the month of April. And that last card wanted to come out. Oh my gosh, I love this. And at the bottom of the deck, again, perseverance. And I talked about that being the energy of uh, the Seven of Wands card coming out for your person's energy. So this is a, a, a confirmation for me um, that this is all heart chakra energy here. And Seven of Wands, heart chakra is typically a little bit obstructed in that Seven of Wands energy. So there is something about heart chakra healing, dealing with your foundations, this being a number four, that tells me that um, both you, Gemini, and the soulmate that you'll be dealing with are, are both actively working on healing some damage or wounds, trauma in the heart chakra that has uh, generated in your family of origin and the family that you were raised in, okay? So I love these messages for you. First out, we have number seven, the number of perseverance, and here, personal growth for you. Again, this is bringing emphasis to that crown chakra. So this is a lot of spiritual growth happening for you. This is what you're working on. And, and part of your victory and success in being able to move forward um, into this two of cups energy with your soulmate has been an element of personal growth. And that's something that you're still working on here that you're persevering at with the energy of the number seven for the month of April, 2020 next. Woo. And that flew out of my hands twice. <laughs> next we have number 87, synchronicity. So eight and seven add to 15, which reduces to six in numerology. Again, we talked about sixes, harmony in relationships. And what I'm getting is that in terms of this specific soul connection, Gemini, you are getting a lot of signs and synchronicities. And um, these are touching your heart and your crown chakra here with this violet and this pink. So be aware, be looking for signs and synchronicities in the month of April. Um, and part of the work that you're doing here is learning to acknowledge these when they're appearing, that this is a communication source between you and your spiritual team of um, your source of angels, ancestors, and guides. And last but not least, this uh, is number 44, your environment. Learning lessons about the environment in which you are finding yourself while you're being nostalgic in the Six of Cups energy, okay? Um, this is a lot of heart chakra, um, kind of a reflection of this perseverance with four. This is 44. So this again, um, learning some things about the environment that you've been raised in. And this leading to personal growth for you in the month of April is something that I am seeing in your energy and in your soul work. Okay, Gemini, um, divinely guided here with it being the master number 44. So whatever examinations you're doing using your heart chakra, um, looking back at your family, at your upbringing, or even the living situation in which you currently find yourself. Um, there's being some healing in the heart going on related to your foundations, to that, that Cancerian, that fourth house energy. All right. Now the soulmate that you're dealing with, I think this is so funny. They have surrender and it happened to come out with this seven of wands kind of blocked a little standoffish energy here. Um, they are completing a cycle by learning how to surrender here. 91 adding to 10, which is a, a completion. And this is 
um, a lot of sacral chakra here as well as crown chakra energy. So this is surrendering to one's divine feminine. This is surrendering to being empathic, intuitive, creative, receptive, in a more receptive mode, which is dropping this guarded posture right here. Okay, so more receptive, less guarded is something that um, your soulmate is working on on a soul level. They are also divinely guided here with the master number 99 and all of this deep violet crown chakra energy to filter things with compassion, filter things with compassion um, through uh, the lens of the highest love possible but to look at others with compassion and having that with this again, foundations, fourth house, Cancerian, um, family origins, energy. Uh, this person is also looking back at things, um, that have been triggered for them um, in their upbringing and, and healing from it, but looking at those relationships that may have been traumatic from a place of healing and compassion. They are surrendering to no longer allowing these things to affect and influence them the way that they have in the past. And another lesson that this soulmate is working on is being more physically active in uh, their environment, in their space. Uh, this is number 67, six and seven add to 13, reduce to four. So this person is going to stay grounded and maintain their foundation by physical activity in the month of April. Let's get some soulmate messages. Soulmate messages. And I hear this is the last shuffle. And it almost didn't take. <laughs> Very specific instructions I'm getting for you in this reading, Gemini. They're funny. What's a soulmate message for Gemini? The month of April 2020. There it is. Okay, there they are. So, absolutely beautiful. Gemini, your soulmate message for the month of April 2020 is number 58, beauty. Five and eight add to 13, reduce to four in numerology. So again, about foundations. And with the synchronicity, with the personal growth, your message here is to find the beauty in all things, to find the beauty in the trials that you've been through, to find the beauty in the connections you're experiencing in the present moment, and to find the beauty in your own personal growth and all of the evolution that you're making spiritually as an individual soul on a soul journey. For your soulmate, I have number 36, the cosmic butterfly. Three and six add to nine, which is that individual number of perseverance. And we do have the energy of the nine here, compassion. And with this cosmic butterfly, the, the butterfly transforms, it changes. It transmutes lower, heavier energies into something higher and more beautiful. Definitely what this person is doing um, as they are engaging um, a lot of soul lessons, a lot of realizations as they're spiritually ascending about um, programs that they participate in, um, emotional, psychological, that are related to their upbringing. So a lot of transformation happening. And there's that orange sacral chakra energy again, mirroring going on because I do see a lot of sacral chakra in both of these soulmate messages. And a joint soulmate message for the connection for the month of April 2020 is number 41, knowing without knowing. And 41 adds to five in the vibration of five in numerology. It may be a challenge or an obstacle, but there is change coming. And so this knowing without knowing, there may be a lot of gray space in this connection right now um, with a lot of the physical distancing that's going on because of the coronavirus, because of healing, because of life circumstances. But I love how this ties into the sacral chakra energy coming in for both you, Gemini, 
and your soulmate because that is our empathic center, our intuitive center. And that is the message I get here. There is so much that you know without really knowing when it comes to this connection. All right. So I hope that those messages resonated with you. If they did, please drop a comment, like, subscribe, share the video with someone who could use it. If you would like to schedule a private reading, email me or follow me on social media. All of that information is in the description box below. Until next time, my Gemini loved ones, I am sending you so much love and light. Bye-bye.